Home builder confidence dipped in May as 7% mortgage rates keep many prospective home buyers on the sidelines, according to the National Association of Home Builders. So, how is this reflected in recent data? It's a big question, and here with the latest is our very own Danny Romero. Danny, did May's Housing Starts data support this sentiment? Housing starts for both single family and multifamily modestly rebounded. And that is signaling that this recovery could be a little bit slower for new construction. Housing starts climbed 5.7% over the prior month to 1.3 million annualized rate. And this was lower than expectations for a 1.3 4 million annualized rates. So April's rebound really was driven by multifamily starts, which jumped over 30%, which is a bit lower than pre-pandemic levels. I want to make that clear, but also single family starts remained flat last month. The results do cast some form of doubt for home building. And like you said, this does come after home builders aren't really feeling too confident right now about the housing market, especially that mortgage rates have stayed above 7% sidelining uh, buyers and of course now builders. So home builder sentiment from the National Association of Home Builders did show that builders view conditions as poor. So despite these really bleak expectations from builders, some industry experts say that single family starts could come back and it, we could see single family starts reach 1.1 million units by the end of this year. So they're saying that home builders could really capitalize on the low inventory on the resale side, Brad.